Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to announce the public release of Resilient Queensland. It will outline our work for the next four years in delivering on the strategy for disaster resilience. The plan is not just a policy document. This is deliberately aimed at delivering actionable outcomes at a local level, at a state level and a federal level. I commend to you the next session, which will be the team sharing with you about how Resilient Queensland actually looks on the ground and the process that they went through. The strategy that our council has been involved with since the beginning with Queensland Reconstruction Authority uh, championed it and uh, facilitated the process, gives us an overarching framework as to what we can do with strategic planning for natural disasters and disaster resilience. It was really exciting to be able to tell people about the project that we've been working on for the last eight to nine months. We undertook quite a comprehensive stakeholder engagement process. I think we engaged with about 22 stakeholder groups across the catchment. We drove almost 8,000 kilometres. We had almost 70 workshop attendees over 10 different workshops. And we looked at things like resilient societies, resilient economy, infrastructure, the built environment. So you can see the big map there. Um, that was hosted in Bundaberg, that one. That map must have been six, seven metres square. It gave everyone a spatial understanding of really what the Burnett catchment was and what it meant to us. And so much fantastic information just flowed out of the conversations that were had by having the disaster managers, council engineering staff, the environmental staff, all throwing their lens and, and skills and experience at the problem. something we've really uncovered through this project is the connections between people and communities and how important that is in resilient outcomes. Some of the strategies that we have are probably things you wouldn't normally see in a traditional flood risk management approach. There's things in there around mental health, there's things in there around the cropping industry. I mean it is so diverse and it's really about that interface between the flood risk and then people's resilience and how we're actually going to respond to flood when it does happen. we wouldn't have had the internal resources to produce the document. We've ended up with an extremely good strategic document that our councils and our region can use going forward. I think at the start of the Burnett process, we didn't know where it was going to go. And likewise, as this program rolls out across the state, every community is different. And so it's not about replicating the same process, but I think the underpinning principles are really what's important behind driving this momentum and having that locally led interface. And that's truly what this program is about. It's about utilising local knowledge, gathering that local knowledge, and then putting it to work for everybody else who lives in the region.